Welcome. I'm Claire Schaefer. I am a sewing expert and have written several books about haute couture techniques. Gabrielle Chanel Fashion Manifesto is the first United Kingdom exhibition dedicated to the work of the French couturier Gabrielle Chanel, usually called Coco Chanel. This is a large exhibition and you may want to spend more than a single day exploring the exhibition. If that is not possible, plan your visit ahead of time so you can see the items which interest you most. The exhibition charts the evolution of Chanel's design style and the establishment of the House of Chanel from the opening of her first millinery boutique in Paris in 1910 to the showing of her last collection in 1971. This exhibition explores Chanel's pioneering approach to fashion design, which paved the way for a new feminine elegance and continues to influence the way women dress today. The exhibition is the story of a formidable woman. Born in poverty, Chanel designed for herself, an independent woman with an active lifestyle. She created the wardrobe of today's modern woman, tweed suits and little black dresses. Chanel began her career as a milliner in 1910. This hat from 1917 is made of looped braid. It has a relaxed crown and brim which can be collapsed. One of the earliest surviving Chanel garments, this 1916 blouse, is made from a fine gauge silk jersey. Previously a fabric for underwear and stockings, Chanel was the first to use it for outer clothes. This blouse was inspired by the collared pullovers of fishermen. The design has clean lines, fluid materials, and a simplistic color palette to create a refined elegance. In 1924, Chanel designed the costumes for the Ballet Russe's production of Le Train Bleu in Paris. The ballerina, Lydia Sokolova, recalled that when she was thrown into the air and caught by her partner, Leo Wazikowski, the smooth finish of the wool made it difficult for him to grip her as she landed. This photo shows the four principles after the first performance of Le Train Bleu in Britain. The pink suit represented the latest in bathing wear. These printed designs in various colorways were registered in Britain in 1929. This ensemble is typical of Chanel's designs in the 1920s. It features a low belted waist, pleated skirt, and loose jacket. The black and cream color combination was a Chanel favorite throughout her career. Notice the crenellated edge on the blouse hem, collar, and turned back cuffs. The model, Marion Morehouse, is wearing a black crepe bolero dress with a fringed and paillette embroidered skirt. As early as the 1910s, Chanel promoted black as a chic symbol of modernity and featured it as a stylish wardrobe option. This narrow evening gown from 1926 was fabricated in an all-over sequin embroidery with a streamer of black chiffon flaring out from the hip. This cotton velvet fabric was specially made for Chanel in Manchester, England. Chanel used a variety of knitted jersey throughout her career, removable cuffs and collars, allowed for easier laundering. 
Printed fabrics were a key part of both Chanel's day wear and evening ensembles in the 1920s and 30s. For some, she utilized an applique technique for cutting out the individual floral motifs, finishing the edges by hand, then reapplying them as three-dimensional decoration to the dress. This technique is seen on the back and the sleeves to give the sleeves added volume to the ruffled edges. Many of these textiles were designed and produced in her own factories. In this photo, Rousey Sert is wearing a long white sequined dress from 1936 and a 15-strand coral necklace. This trouser suit from the late 1930s was owned by Diana Vreeland, editor-in-chief of Vogue magazine in the 1960s. She wore the ensemble when entertaining at home. This was one of the designs I examined on my first research trip to the V&A in the 1980s. I thought it was as wearable in the 1980s as it had been when it was new, and it is still in style today. There are more than 50 Chanel suits in the exhibition. This handsome tweed suit is from 1960. The suit is the defining garment of Chanel's post-war contribution to fashion. The Chanel suit combined ease and comfort with chic simplicity. Chanel rejected padding and stiffening and chose supple fabrics that allowed greater freedom of movement. She adopted a cardigan style jacket and a simple skirt with contrast trimmings and unexpected details to add distinctiveness to each design. Custom buttons and hidden details such as invisible shaping, chain weights, and quilted would become signature features. This suit is from Autumn Winter, 1964. Described by American Vogue in September 1964 as the world's prettiest uniform, the Chanel suit has become a timeless classic. The suit on the left is from Autumn Winter, 1963-1964, and the suit on the right is from Autumn Winter, 1960-1961. Accessories were fundamental to Chanel's concept of a harmonious silhouette. Marie-Hélène Arnaud is wearing a tweed suit from Chanel's Autumn Winter 1959 collection and Chanel shoes carrying the 255 Chanel handbag. No exhibition would be complete without Chanel No. 5. In this photograph, Marilyn Monroe is applying Chanel No. 5 at the Ambassador Hotel in New York City, 24 March, 1955. Gabrielle Chanel's final collection was presented two weeks after her death on 26 January, 1971. According to the Times, it was a beautiful collection, Chanel at her best. In this exhibition photo, each of these suits is fabricated in a special occasion fabric. This large gallery is devoted to Chanel's day suits. This gallery features a stunning array of evening designs. Reminiscent of the stairs in Chanel Salon, where she sat to watch the fashion shows, the stairway at the end of the gallery is breathtaking. Here is one last look of the beautiful gowns on the stairway. I highly recommend purchasing the exhibition catalog before you go. I have a large collection of vintage Chanel's I've made several YouTube videos about them, which you might enjoy. I'm Claire Schaefer. Thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and join my channel for more fashion and sewing inspiration.